Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new series. Today we're going to be playing Blood Bowl. Oh, it's a wonderful board game like football game. Um, but football games kind of a uh, strange way of wording things I suppose. It's not a hundred percent accurate. Uh, this is not like any kind of football I've ever played. The goal is pretty much to bash your opponent's skulls in and uh, to play football while you do it but uh, you're, if you kill a player you know, in normal football, if you kill a player, it's probably going to be the end of the game. And this, it's like, hurrah, I've killed the player, they won't be back on the field. Um, and it will give you a better chance of winning. And that's that's kind of how the game's played. Uh, I, I mean, it's kind of difficult to explain beyond that. It has a lot of very strange rules. And so instead of just trying to explain every single rule to you at once, we're not going to begin our main campaign today in Blood Bowl. But instead, we're just going to play one single exhibition match and that way you guys can kind of get a feel for what this game is um, and I, I you know I can kind of get warmed back up because it's been a little while since I last played Blood Bowl we're gonna play classic mode just because blitz mode's a little bit strange it's real time and it's a little bit less like the board game which is uh, the way I enjoy playing it and uh, let's see our team we're going to play the same team that we're going to play in our actual our actual sport and let me look for them. Amazon, here they are. This is going to be the team that we play in our actual in our actual campaign. So I figure we might as well play them right now. So this right here rerolls apothecaries and cheerleaders. Cheerleaders, when you kick off or receive the ball, they give you a better chance of receiving good effects. So maybe the crowd storms the field on a kickoff, which is something that happens quite frequently. If you have more cheerleaders, they're less likely to smash your people to the ground. Or just any re rolling event that happens at kickoff. That's what the cheerleaders are for. The apothecaries are for healing players. So if a player gets badly injured on the field, you can use an apothecary and it gives them a chance of being um, healed and put back on the field. And re-rolls... This game, you do a lot of rolling dice. It's a ton of it, even. And if you get bad rolls on your dice, you can use one of those per turn, and it will re-roll your dice. But as you see, you only have three, and you only get... There's 16 turns in the whole match, and eight turns per half. So at each half, you get your re-rolls back. So you have to... Only per eight turns, you can only use three re-rolls. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and accept this. Actually, let's look and see if it has what we want here. Yeah, that's, that's what we want. Okay. And then the AI team. We will make them... Uh, goblins. Why not? It doesn't really matter. Launch game. Alright, so right here... Uh, our teams were perfectly equal, but if they were not, we could have purchased inducements. And inducements are just small, small buffs that to give teams that have less value than other teams, so that the matches stay fair. And uh, inducements can be anything from rerolls to bribing the coaches, or not the coaches, the referees. That way, when someone's on the ground, you can kick their face in. And the referees will just look the other way uh, to try to injure more players. And there's several, several, several other inducements you can buy, but just. Um, that's just an example of the minor buffs you get. To make the game more even. So that on the right is the goblin team. As you can see, they have those giant fellas. And then they have uh, the bomb lobbing fellas. The goblins are crazy. They're, they're pretty fun to play with and against. And there's my team, all the hot ladies. We're going to roll the heads. We did not get the roll. And getting the roll is just like real football. It lets you decide if you want to kick or receive. Alright. Let's see. We are going to mess with our lineup a little bit here. And we're going to put... Is this a line woman? Yes. We're going to put all our line women just on the line. And then we're going to come down here... We're going to put our throwers further towards the back so they can get the kickoff. And then we're going to get our blitzers and put them closer to the line. That way we can, you know, blitz in, as the blitzers do. 
And for some reason, it doesn't look like we have any catchers on the field right now. Oh, our two catchers are out here. All right, we're going to switch hmm, two of our line women with catchers. And these catchers we're going to put back just a little bit. So they're still pretty, pretty far in the action, but, you know, they can be a little bit back. And that's a good lineup, I think. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. Oh, and we're kicking the ball. So just choose where you want to kick it. I kind of want to kick it right around here. And it doesn't always kick directly where you sit tell it to kick. Uh, it kind of depends on your skill as a kicker, which is one of the skills you unlock. Uh, you'll get to see more of that when we're playing the campaign mode. But basically, as characters level up from playing the game, you can give them special abilities, and kicking is one of those special abilities. Oh, and here's one of the uh, things the cheerleaders do. The brilliant coaching. That's part of the cheerleading thing. Each coach makes a different dice roll and adds their fame. Uh, the, te the team with the highest score gets an extra re-roll this half, thanks to the brilliant instructing provided by the coach. So basically, because of our fans and because of our fame, which is basically how well we've done in the past, we got an extra roll. Now, immediately there, they suffered a turnover. And here's why. If one of your players gets knocked down, you face a turnover. Okay? And for whatever reason, they made the ridiculous decision to sprint this goblin right through here. And if you do that, you'll notice, hold on, let me click on one of these guys. If I try to move this guy, if I try to move him right here, do you see that little red spot? That means I'm exiting an enemy's zone. Uh, they have a tackle zone that is all the way around them, every space adjacent to them and directly diagonally to them. Um, you can, if you try to leave that spot, you face a roll. And if you fell that roll, you get knocked over, just like that guy got knocked over right there. See, he was coming right through here, I believe, and he exited this lady right here, her tackle zone, and upon exiting it, she smashed his brains in. And that's just because he failed the roll. Anyway, let's try to get this ball. So we have a blitzer right here. Normally, to attack someone, or tackle them, you have to be adjacent to them. And we don't want to tackle any of these people. That red right there means that they get to roll the dice. So there's two dice that's going that are going to be rolled for this tackle, and they get to roll the dice and see what they want to pick out of those two. You never want to pick something where your opponent gets to choose. Now, you'll notice that people who aren't quite right next to them, they get this little yellow symbol. That means that they're about to blitz. Your team gets one blitz per turn, and what the blitz does is allows you to uh, tackle them or attack them, even though you're not adjacent to them. Now, the more players that are adjacent to the person when you choose to blitz, and the less enemies that are adjacent to them, the stronger your attack is against them. So we have two of our players against them right now. And we are going to move this person and attack them. So we got to we got to roll two dice there, and we got to choose because we had three people against their two that were around the same strength. Now this one's a defender stumbles, and this one is a both down. Now, I, I believe, and it's been a little while since I played, but I believe I want to pick both down here because block makes it where, oh, here we go, a player with a block skill is proficient at knocking opponents down. The block spill skill, if used, does not knock down the player if the dice result both down is used. So this is perfect. Normally, both down would be a bad choice, but because one of our skills is block with the splitzer, it's a great choice because we get to knock them down, which is stronger than stumbling. Okay, now we're going to put this blitzer right here on this guy. Put this blitzer right here. And we are going to go for the ball. Um, I kind of made a mistake there. I should have not have brought all three people there because you cannot move someone more than once per turn. So, not a good idea. Those little dice rolls you see though, down there, you have to roll your dice if you reach those. And if you fail the dice roll, you get knocked over like that little fella does, resulting in a turnover. All right, so we're going to go and pull, pull both of our throwers over here. And then we're going to try a very risky maneuver, just because we're at the end of our turn anyway. And pull right through there, I believe. And the Amazons are very fast people, so they have agility skills, which makes it easier to exit these tackle zones for them. Um, I don't think we'll make it, but it wouldn't be a big deal if we did. Dodge. You got a two and require a four. Do you want to reroll? I do... Hmm, do I want to reroll that? I don't. I'm just going to let him get knocked over. Okay. 
So you probably noticed that uh, I got the net bad dice rolls against these fellas, even though it was 3v3 right here. That's because, even though, sure, it was a 3v3, these guys are much, 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 much stronger than, uh, than my characters. And that's why they were getting the better dice rolls against us. Okay, so he failed the pickup, and when he failed up the pickup, it turned over. Uh, that's another turnover effect, is when you fail to pick up the ball. So a good strategy is to surround the ball in players, because if the ball ends up in their square, if you notice, when he tried to pick it up, it moved to a square adjacent to where it was. If it moves into the player's square, they too will try to pick it up. That way, even though you will get a turnover if you fail to pick it up, at least one of your players will have the ball. Alright, so what we're going to try here, is we're going to try to knock over this guy. Perfect, we got a knockdown on him. And he's going to sidestep. So, we are... Hmm, we're not going to follow him. Oh, that little bell means he got knocked out. He's going to be off the field. That's not a major injury, but it does pull him off the field, which is fantastic. That is exactly what we want. Okay, we have another two right here that we're going to use. Oh, another knockdown. That, that is such good luck. And this time... No, we're still not going to follow him. Oh, my gosh. That player is badly hurt. Excellent. But uh, they used an apothecary. If you notice, it did this. That was them using an apothecary to save him. He's still pulled off the field, but he's not injured because the apothecary worked. Okay, so since this ball has a player around it, we're going to see if, yes, that player can make it all the way there. So we're going to pull this player right here. Um, is this person a blitzer as well? No, that's a thrower. Hmm. Oh, we already have two dice, which is the blitzer. Excellent. I was going to try to surround him with more people, but I don't have to. Ah, and we have a both down, and because this blitzer has blocked, we can use that. Knocked him to the ground. Excellent. And now we are going to get this thrower and put them on this side of the ball. That way, in case we miss, someone can still get it. We're then going to take this player right here and put them on the underside of the ball. No, we're just going to go and try to pick it up with them. Come on, now. Roll, roll, roll. Yes, they picked it up. Yes, 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 yes. All right, and then we could try to throw a pass here, but I'm not really feeling comfortable with doing a pass just yet. So instead, we're gonna set up for a pass here in the future by picking this character up and knocking this player over, or should we just go ahead and move? Hmm, we'd have to do one good roll there. I think we could do one good roll though. Let's go ahead and just do this. Got another knockdown. That's great. You normally don't get quite this many knockdowns, so that's excellent. And because I picked them up and then didn't use them again, it used their move. I should have thought that one ahead of time a little bit better, but I did not, sadly. Then this player, we're going to knock him down. And we're going to follow him. Oh, he's injured. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Badly hurt. So he's probably going to be out for the rest of the game. All right, these two players are not looking like they are in a good state of affairs. They're both probably going to get injured here pretty soon. And with that, we're going to end our turn. I'm not really sure what this character right here does. Fanatic. Okay, so this person's blitzing. Oh my gosh. He just sliced that person and killed them. We're going to use an apothecary. All right, instead, they get a smashed hip. Which will make them lose a permanent point in movement. That was ridiculous. That was our ball carrier, too, that was just killed. So as you can see, not quite like a normal game of football, because that goblin is carrying a chainsaw. <laughs> When in the game of football have you heard someone say, yes, and the goblin is carrying a chainsaw coming up for the blitz? I know I haven't. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use our blitz. This is our blitzer, right? No, that's a catcher. This is our blitzer. Okay. We can blitz here. Ooh, and we only got two move asides. That's kind of okay, though, because we're, we're getting close to the end of the half, so I'm going to go ahead and use a reroll next. I really want to knock over this chainsaw guy. 
Oh, I still didn't get it. You only get one reroll per turn, so we're just going to deal with what we got there. Because that chainsaw guy looks like he could rip us to shreds. Hmm. Do we go ahead and go for the ball? I don't think we do. I think we just knock this person over. Still, no roll for knocking the person uh, down, so we're just going to have to move him aside. Alright, we just have to deal with that. And then we're going to... We still can't bring that player down? Are you serious? We are going to totally surround this player. Four people around him. Still getting a negative dice roll. Man, that character is strong. Okay, well that probably wasn't a good idea to surround him then. Shoot. Hmm. Alright, well I guess we'll try... No, that's, that's pretty dumb. Let's not do that. Let's just go ahead and end our turn where we stand. That's crazy. What is the strength in this character? Seven strength. Dang. No wonder. Whoa, did he just hit two people in one turn? I don't understand the way this character works. Okay, cool. They got a failed pickup down here. One of our players got injured, sadly. Can we bring this catcher? Okay, let's bring this catcher all the way to right there. And that way, if we get the ball, we can catch. And don't worry, they have dodge, so it wasn't that big of a deal to pass it in one zone. Let's go ahead and pick this blitzer up and pull him around to the back to try to save us with the blitz, if need be. A blitz, you know, an opponent that's coming at us. And this person's going to die to this ball and chains dude if they stay here. So we might as well risk it and go ahead and try to pull him out this direction. Okay, good. They got out. That means, uh, that means bonehead, I believe, is what that's for. No, really stupid. That little question mark means they have no idea what's going on and cannot be controlled for however long they have that question mark over their head. Okay, we can go ahead and hit this person and knock them down. That's okay. We'll just push him. And then we're going to knock him down with this person. Aha! We well, got him knocked down. Then we're just going to not follow them. Oh, they have uh, they have dodge, which means when you cause them to stumble, it doesn't knock them over. It's one of the special abilities. Okay, we're going to knock down Chainsaw Dude. And we're going to follow him. And we're going to probably pick that up right now. Yeah, I'd say now is as good as time as any to go ahead and try to pick it up. Good, we got it. Good, 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 good. And we can actually move further than where that uh, catcher is, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. We're going to move all the way down through here. We get as far away from those people as we can. And we're not going to go any further than that. We're just going to go ahead and end our turn here. And you have to keep an eye on it. At eight turns, it's half time. And then, you know, you switch sides, and the other, whoever didn't kick the first half kicks in the second half. Kind of like real football. They're not going to be able to catch us. We've broken free, it looks like. Oh, cool. And then he was trying to catch up to us, but he wasn't able to dodge when he was going outside of our tackle zone. And it knocked, it got knocked over. Because of it. Excellent. So what we're going to try to do here is see if we can knock anyone else over. And indeed we can. Just because <clears throat> we're going to get a touchdown this turn. No doubt about it. But if we could injure one of their players before we got a touchdown, that would be even better. Was it two dice? Oh yeah, that was already two dice. I need to do more. Come on, get injured. No, just knocked over. Okay. Let's see if we can injure this person. Just did a stumble, and he has dodged. The stumble's not going to do anything to him. Alright, and I believe that's all the people we can knock over for now. Now, we could try to smash the chainsaw player, but that could lead to a turnover. I think it's worth it. I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. One thing I'm going to do before I smash him, though, I'm going to take this player right here, and I'm going to put him right over here to the very side of this player, so that if it does cause a turnover, he'll have to exit two tackle zones if he wants to get away. 
we're going to pull this player over to. And now I'm going to show you a foul. So one of the fouls is when the player's on the field. I know you think foul. You've just watched a player die. So there's fouls in this game? Yes, there actually are fouls in this game. So if I kick this player right here while he's on the ground, I can knock him out. But if the referee sees that, which in this case he did not, but if the referee had seen that, I would be in a lot of trouble. Um, he would to cause an immediate turn. But thankfully, he didn't, and it knocked out that player. So that's just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Touchdown. Awesome. <laughs> and we kicked off. We got that point, so that's just perfect. So there's our badly injured player, and we still have one knocked out who hasn't waken up yet. And then they have an injured player as well, and one knocked out, and then the other one just woke up from me. So we get to kick off again, and we're going to keep the same lineup, I like this lineup quite a bit. Oh, wait a second. One of our catchers aren't in. Why are our catchers not in? It's okay, I guess. We'll just switch out here. And then our catcher will be in. Is there a catcher that's hurt or injured? Let me check here. Ejected by referee. Oh, because they were using illegal weaponry. Okay. Dodge. Thrower. Line woman. No, none of our catchers are out. Our catcher is taking the spot of our thrower? I'm not really sure what happened to our other catcher. Blitzer, blitzer, catcher, line woman, line woman, line woman, line woman, blitzer, catcher. Just switch these two out. And we're going to go ahead and put our line woman up on the... No, because they just get killed. Oh, no, because it's only the two big fellas now. We actually could probably do that. Get away with it. Okay. And now we're just going to move one of our... Is this a blitzer as well? Yeah, we're just going to leave those two blitzers where they were. Okay. Ooh. I don't want our, my blitzer back here. We're going to actually throw with one of our catchers, I do. And then we're going to move this blitzer right here back out to the back right there. Okay, perfect. Blitzers are just such an essential part to my team. I don't want them in the back where they can't do their job. Okay, so it's just perfect weather. Uh, makes it easier for passing and catching, I believe, which is great for my team because that's one of our main components is passing and catching. This person just tried some crazy stunty stuff. I think they're going to try to pass it to him. That's so risky. There are so many risks involved in passing this player. But if they can get it off, they're going to they're gonna go for it, I think. I think they're going to go for it. A pass. No, they're not passing, are they? They're just surrounding him so they can pass next turn, I guess. Oh, one of their players got knocked down. It was a both down, I guess. All right, we're going to take these two players in the back. And we're going to put one on either side of this guy. Because I'm afraid they're going to pass it to him. And then we're going to take this catcher right here. And we're going to put them even further in the back. In case he manages to get away. And then we're going to do one of the two dice rolls here. And he has dodge. That's not going to do anything for us. Oh, well. Stumbling is not good enough when they have dodge. I'm going to go and pick her up. Let's see if it has any effect right here. It does. It's just a one dice then. Still not great. But better. Mm. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and take this person out. Real quick. No way. Um, crap. We're going to have to reroll that for sure. Okay, good. We got a defender down there. Which is just what we needed. It's just what we needed! And... Where do we go next? How can we get to this player? I see. Hmm. 
That yellow means it's past our normal movement squares. I want to do it. And so I'm going to. Oh, man. That fell in half. Not only did they get knocked over, causing a turnover, but it also injured them. And that's one of our blitzers, which is awful for us. We really need those blitzers. Dang, that really stinks. But yeah, this is a uh, this is basically Blood Bowl. Uh, you'll run into a couple more rules as we go along, especially when we're playing campaign and there's leveling up and things of that nature. There'll be a little bit going on with that. But this is the essential points of the game, and Amazon's going to be the team we play during the actual Blood Bowl season. So good to introduce you to the team we'll be playing. All right, so they actually pulled that goblin up. And I don't like this one very much, so I'm going to go ahead and knock him down. Oh, and this is a thrower. Oh, well, we'll just push him aside. I'm going to follow him. Perfect. And now we are going to... Pull this player up. We're going to get... Oh, sorry, I had to mute the mic. I had to sneeze there. Sorry. We're going to get right next to this player right here. Oh, we can't because that guy's in the way. Yeah, we can't really take him down. Dang. All right, we're going to pull this player up then and see if we can turn the tides in our favor here. We can. Excellent. We'll just move him. That's all we really have to do anyway. And does that increase our odds here? It does not. Not even a little. Crap. Well, let's try to get a minor victory out of this, I suppose. And stomp this person's brains in if it does something. It does! Cool. Does it cause a turnover, though? It does not. Thank you, refs, for not seeing anything. And we're going to just continue having this person closer to the back. That way we have someone to hit them with if we have to. It's not a blitzer that's back here, and I don't like that very much. But I can do it. It's almost halftime here. As a matter of fact, this is their last turn before halftime. So unless they manage to get the ball in this turn, which I don't think is possible. Okay, cool. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Halftime is on its way. Um, which Let's just spend this last turn doing our best to injure a couple of their players. So that's still two dice red. What if we put another player here? One dice. Okay, we're getting better. What if we put another player right here? Two dice, perfect. Follow. Okay, didn't quite get injured, that's okay. Now we're gonna stomp on him. No, we're gonna wait a second to stomp on him. We're gonna knock over a couple of players. And I think we can afford the reroll here. He has dodge, so that doesn't really hurt him, hurt him at all. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this person. Ah, uh, still has dodge. I'm not gonna hurt him. We can hit him again, though, with a triple dice here. I think we will. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, I didn't injure him, though. Stomp. No injury. Stomp again? Yeah, let's stomp again. Oh, you can only stomp him once. I forgot. Okay, and we'll just end our turn there, because that's going to be halftime. The pretty ladies doing their dances, the Amazon dances. Still have two injured players, and that one player is still knocked out. Their bell really got wrong. Three, three there's ejected from the game, one badly injured, one knocked out. That is a lot of their team. I don't... Their whole entire sideline's empty. I don't even know if they have 11 players. Um, 3, 5, 7, 9, 10. Yeah, they are one player short right now, which is good for us. And we have another line moving in because our blitzer got injured. That's a catcher there. So we still have three blitzers? Okay. And we're going to pull this other line woman up to the line. And accept. Uh, 
seven squig chasers get an extra team radio. Not really what I wanted to do. Okay. okay, let's go ahead and hit some players here. Knock them down. And no, we're not going to fall. And... Hmm, we can get one dice roll there. But I'll tell you what, let's move right here. And then we're going to get two dice rolls here. And we're going to do a defender stumbles. And we're not going to fall. Okay. And then we're going to move this player right here. And move this player right here. And we're just trying to clear this line best we can. Another defender stumbles. Not really what we're looking for, but we'll take it. We're going to follow. <laughs> Because this blitzer has block, we can do that. I'm going to put the catcher right here on the side of the ball. This blitzer, we're going to move up to block right there. This catcher, we're going to start moving this way. Maybe get a pass off here a little bit. And then the thrower right here, we're going to go ahead and have catch the ball. Or pick it up off the ground. Good, no failure. And there's no reason to pass anyone at this point, so we're just going to go ahead and end it. Man, I just sneezed again. I'm a sneezing fella today. Oh, we have that goblin coming around. He just dodged a lot of tackle zones there. That was lucky. Are they going to try it again? Wow, they got away with it too. That's incredible. To be fair, those guys do have a high agility and stunty, which is an ability that helps them dodge tackle zones, but... That is still a lot of tackle zones. It was quite risky. All right. They don't seem to be doing much at the moment. Oh, man. They just kept on risking it, risking it, risking it. That was bound to happen eventually. The player right there got knocked down, in case you didn't see, trying to escape from uh, my Blitzer's tackle zone. Okay. So let's go ahead and use this catcher right here to knock down this player. Hopefully. There we go. And we're not going to fall him. And then let's use this player. Hmm. We're actually going to take our thrower. This is our catcher, right? No, that's our blitzer. There's our catcher. Yeah, I kind of like that play. So what we're going to do is pull our thrower all the way to right here. Then we're going to throw right there. Awesome. We got that catch off. And in campaign mode, by the way, doing things like that, the throwing and the catching, gives a lot of special... Um, I forget what it's called. It might just be called XP. But the stuff that's used to level players up. So you want to do that stuff whenever you can in the normal playthrough of the campaign that we're going to be doing here shortly. I'm going to go ahead and use our three dice on this character. We'll just move him out of the way. That's fine. I really want to stomp that person's brains in, so I'm going to try to get some players around them to do that. That's just a one dice roll. I really want more than that, so we're going to pull this person right here over against them. Ah, oh, two dice rolls. Perfect. Mm, I'm going to re-roll that. Still not good. I was thinking about doing the both down and just ending the turn, but I really don't want to. That was that wasted a reroll too. That was not good. We'll go ahead and pull this person right here into the mix. And we're gonna stomp. <laughs> Nothing. Dang. Okay, we're gonna put this person right here to use as a defender. And this person right here. Just as another little blocker to try to stop them from getting to us. We're gonna end our turn. So they're just picking their players up right now. Not much going on just yet. Man, they really like trying to dodge those tackle zones. Another dodge tackle zone, and they're going to get it. They're going to get this hit off right here. Oh, they just pushed him. Dodging all those tackle zones just for a push. Not, not good. But I'm dangerously close to out of bounds. If they're able to knock me out of bounds, it will put me out until the next time someone scores. So I really do not want to get knocked out of bounds here. 
as well as the ball would get re-thrown somewhere towards the center of the field. So we gotta clear up this mess as fast as we can. Oh man, we have to reroll that. We are now out of rerolls. Oh gosh, that's just terrible. We do not want to be out of rerolls this early. Is this, could this person reach? Yes, they could. I want to go ahead and knock down this player first. Oh, that's so bad. It moved them aside instead of knocking him over. So now we have tackle zones to deal with. <sighs> I think we tried anyway. We know because we're totally blocked off here. This is a thrower. That's a catcher. Hmm. Quite a pickle we put ourselves in here. Let's, we gotta try it, I guess. So let's go ahead and do that. He's gonna dodge that. Yeah, that's fine. At least this person's free now. And I think what we're gonna do is pull them way, 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 way down this way. Ooh, whose tackle zones am I dodging there? Oh, that person's right there. I forgot about that. Okay. I think we're going to go right here. And then just try to surround ourselves with players. We're going to put them right here. Right here. One right here. And then we're going to block this player off with one more right down here. We're going to end our turn there, I do believe. Actually, let's knock this person down. Okay. Couldn't knock him down. It's okay. And it might end our turn, but let's try to stop on this person. Nope, nothing. Okay. And because this player is available, we'll just pull him right over here. And it's their turn once again. We're in a good position because we just have ball control right now. If we can maintain ball control until the end of the game, that's fine. We'll win 1-0. to zero. I'll take that any day. This person's brains are about to get smashed in. Bad. And knocked down. Perfect. 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 That is exactly what we needed. So I think what we do at this point is we're going to move all the way down to here. And then we're going to make a pass right here. Excellent. We're going to knock this player down real quick. Are you serious? Now I have any more rerolls. I have to take it. That is so bad. That is so bad. I was just trying to get a more direct route so we could get one more square. And then that happened. What are the odds that both of those attack her down? Well, at least they immediately got knocked down, so it's immediately much more good. They really try to dodge some tackle zones like crazy. To be fair, I make a lot of tackle zones. They shouldn't have to feel like they have to dodge that much, you know? Okay, let's see. What if we go all the way down here? We could. I don't want to be that close to the edge. So we're going to go right there with the ball. And then we're going to bring this person right there. That's okay, stumbling's fine. Just wanted to get this person outside of their tackle zone. And we're going to pull him right over here. Try to block them from getting into the player. And we're going to pull this person right over here and put him to the side there. Again, just trying to do the block. And we're going to go ahead and first off knock this player down. Just a line woman, so she can't do the attack right now. They're both down, I mean to say. We're gonna try to knock them down again. Perfect. Good follow. We're gonna try to knock down this pogo stick first. It's alright. Defender push is fine on me. And now here's the point where we do this. Yes! A down. Perfect. Oh, and we got a knockout there. Good stuff. We should be able to get a good dice roll. That's a decent dice roll. I'll take it. Oh, 
I finished that was good enough. Good stuff, good stuff. What in the world is that goblin doing? What in the world are they doing? What are you guys doing? The we're about to get a touchdown. So one thing I'm noticing here is the medium AI might not be quite smart enough. Um, during the actual campaign, I might switch them to hard. Yeah, I'll take a push. So he just did a two where I choose, which is silly. And then he just tried to dodge all those tackle zones again, and he managed to get away with it. That's insanity. Good match him. Alright, just getting his tackle zone out of the way. And I'm a bit worried, to be honest with you, that I might get a really crappy roll in one of these. But we are one point ahead and the ball's all the way down there, so I think it might be worth risking. Dang. That's okay. The ball's all the way down there. Even if they do manage to knock them down, I don't see them getting it all the way downfield the two turns they have. Should I have just taken the ball to the touchdown line? Probably. Probably should have and just ended the match that way. But I guess this does make it a little bit more exciting if nothing else. They are about to get their brain smashed. No way. It was just a push. Oh, that, uh, that pogo stick person is an attack too. Oh, they pushed me down. And they got the ball. Dang. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and pick this player up. And then... Go ahead and hit this person. Bad luck. Oh, the bad luck. And they got knocked out. Oh, the bad luck is real. And this is why you need rerolls. That's okay. The bad luck, though. Are you serious? Did he just dodge all those tackle zones? It's like which player will attempt the interception? Who is he passing to? I guess this player? Fumbled pass. Hilarious. Who was he passing to? I think this is my last turn here. So we're going to use it to go ahead and get right here. I'm going to use this player to hopefully pick up the ball. Actually, no. We're going to use this player to slam his face. Good, good, good. Didn't have terrible luck again. And follow him. Now we're going to have this line woman attempt to pick up the ball. And so we'll do that. We got it. Good. And just for the giggles, I think we're going to go ahead and put a pass right here. If they miss it, it's fine. Oh my gosh, they got the pass. Holy crap. Do we end in a touchdown? Do we end in a touchdown? A touchdown! Yes! That was a great, great, great <laughs> Making up that terrible luck we had. And then we get to see the six games once more. Perfect. 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 Two injured ladies. Two knocked out. Perfect. What a way to end the game. Two up. And look how many players they have out. Oh my gosh, that is so many players the Goblins have out. And we're just going to accept it the way it is because this game's over at this point. And we'll kick it closer to the back. Yeah, that's the game there. Game over. They couldn't pass it all the way down the field. 
I wish they'd just go ahead and accept defeat. And even if they did, we'd still beat them by one point. Both of those guys got really stupid, meaning they couldn't do their ability for the turn. Uh, defender pushed, why not? But yeah, this game's over. 2-0. And I think I showed you guys the mechanics of Blood Bowl pretty well here. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm pretty sure I can answer them for you. I think I explained everything, though, to the best of my ability. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a like in the comment. If you really liked it, leave a subscription so you can watch the season we're going to do here pretty imminently. Uh, this series, I believe, I believe we've set this series to every Wednesday. This one is set for all the Yeah, so this series is set for every Wednesday. So you can come back every Wednesday and watch our uh, most recent episode of Blood Bowl. And as I said, we're going to be playing the team we played this game, the Amazons, and we should start our campaign next episode. Had a, had a great time recording this. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And let's go ahead and skip the cinematics and see our end stats to end the episode. 2-0. We had 52% ball. 52% ball possession. There we go. 14% occupied on our half. And 85% occupied on their half. And our MVP was... I'm not even going to try. I'll, uh, well, I'll try. Agamid Mopaldia. Agamid Mopaldia, our thrower. There we go. And you know what? That might even be the thrower. No, it was a line woman that made the game winning, pa game -winning pass, wasn't it? Anyway, I uh, had a great time with doing this, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Oh, uh, a Bootalicious Beauty on Team Sexy. Uh oh. Bootalicious Beauty has had rocks thrown at her. Where is Bootalicious Beauty? Oh no. Bootalicious Beauty. Oh, man, and now Sweetheart goes down. Sweetheart gets slammed again, and now she's knocked out. Sweetheart down first play of the game. All right. One player knocked out already. I'm thinking we're going to probably try to do a blitz with Booty Blitzer right here. I believe in old Booty Blitzer.